It is detachment that counts. One day, a master told his disciple to deliver a meal to a person who was in retreat at another place. But he's on the other shore of the river. I cannot swim, and there is no boat. How can I cross the river? I do not have the great magical powers that you have. When you reach the side of the river, say to the river, "Quickly part the water, and let me go across." I am sent here by my master, who has never been close to a woman. Oh, it is so strange! My master has a wife and three kids. How can he say this? Isn't it against the precepts to tell lies? He dared not ask his master. Besides, if his master told him so, there must be a reason. Therefore, he quickly set off to deliver the meal. Arriving at the river's edge, he said to the river, "My master, who has never been close to a woman, sent me. Please part the water quickly to let me go across." The water immediately parted and allowed him to safely reach the opposite shore. My master sent me here, but he didn't teach me how to get back. What should I do? What is worrying you? How do I cross the river to get home? You simply tell the river quickly, part the water to let me get across, because I am sent here by a person who has never eaten any food. Strange. I saw with my own eyes that he has eaten a full meal, yet he told me to say such things to the river. However, since he said so, there must be a reason. Accordingly, he yelled these words to the river, and the water parted again. That was truly incredible to him. So when he returned, he asked his master for an explanation. What you see is only my outer appearance, but it is not my heart. On the outside, I have a wife and kids, but my heart, my real person, is not here. I am not attached to anything. As for my friend who is in retreat, it is also true for him to say that he has never eaten any food. He eats to keep his physical body alive because many people need him here. He does not crave food or enjoy eating at all. There is power in the words I say, because I only say things that are true, and because you followed my instructions, the power was transmitted all the same. Enlightened beings are forever with the Tao or Truth. Which is always still. They do things just as ordinary people do, but in fact, they are only like observers who watch at the side, not related to the action. We're so grateful to Supreme Master Ching Hai for sharing such insightful, fun stories that open our eyes in ways beyond our imagination. The valuable lessons gained from these charming tales are a source of light and encouragement in our journey. Toward cultivating our true selves and uplifting the world, God takes care of everything, and more of Supreme Master Ching Hai's inspiring, spiritually uplifting books are available for free download at smchbooks.com.